Hello and welcome to my channel. The Da Solis banner featuring Chen Alter has just ended and some of you are probably curious about the new operators coming in the future. This video will briefly cover the new 6-star operators that will be available only through Gacha arriving in about the next few months and whether you should pull for them. The first new character that will be coming after the Chen Alter banner is Salige. Salige is a flag bearer vanguard or standard bearer if you want the official name. This archetype specializes in printing out DP and supporting the other operators. Salich will be the first 6-star standard bearer with Elysium being the 5-star and Myrtle the 4-star. However, unlike Myrtle and Elysium who specializes in supporting one class, with Elysium supporting the snipers and Myrtle the vanguards, Salich doesn't focus on just one class, but instead helps all classes deal more damage. Her third skill, which is her bread and butter skill, applies fragile effect in a small range for a short duration and she lowers the DP cost of the next deployed operator by 2 with her talent. Furthermore, she can also give a slight attack speed bonus to nearby allies and inflict stun with her third skill, making her a decent support unit to leave on the battlefield. So, will Salich be worth the Arundums? Looking at it objectively, Salich definitely has her usefulness, however, Standard Bearer Vanguard's attack stat isn't as high as the other Vanguard archetypes, plus the one block count and the fact that Salich will not be able to block enemies when her skill is active, Salich's only purpose is to give DP and support, which isn't too different from what Elysium and Myrtle is doing. The fragile effect from her skill 3 can make high-risk CC somewhat easier to clear, but for general content, Salich is not a must-have. Next up we have Fartooth, a Deadeye Sniper. She specializes in dealing damage to enemies out of her default attack range. Fartooth is definitely an interesting operator. Her skill 2 allows her to snipe enemies from across the map as long as they are blocked and her skill 3 makes her range turn into a straight line that stretches infinitely. However, she will only shoot across the map with her skill 2 only when the enemies are blocked, if this requirement is not met, Fartooth's DPS potential drops, her skill 2 only gives an attack speed buff besides the huge attack range, therefore while Fartooth can hit enemies very far away from her, the damage she deals per shot still remains the same as there is no attack buff for her skill 2. Her skill 3 makes her range become a straight line, this can be counterproductive at times as you are unable to manually deactivate her skill 3, meaning that her range will be stuck on straight line mode for the entire skill duration, if other enemies are coming from the side as well, Fartooth will not be able to handle them. So, is Fartooth any good? While Fartooth is definitely a strong unit, her second skill needs other allies to block enemies to deal damage and her third skill has its restrictions, making Fartooth a little wonky to play with. After Fartooth, we are receiving the NTR Knight herself. Neil the Radiant Knight is a Dreadnought Guard, this means she can only block one enemy, this makes her a 1v1 operator and can take on bosses with a little support. Her third skill, which is her signature skill, allows her to summon an obstacle with decent health to stun and block enemies, NTR Knight will gain a decent attack and defense buff and when attacking enemies that are blocked by herself or the obstacle, she will deal true damage to the enemies. This was a highly debated skill and some people even consider the NTR Knight to be a broken operator like Chen the Holongde. However, it was later decided that while she is extremely powerful with her third skill, she isn't powerful enough to be broken. NTR Knight is also very dependent on having teammates from Kazimir's to boost her damage. Her talent states that when deployed, deals 80% of attack as true damage to enemies in the surrounding four tiles and stun them for three seconds. If the last deployed operator is a Casimir's operator, the true damage is dealt twice. This can also be seen in her second skill where if the last deployed operator is from Casimir's, she will not suffer a longer redeployment cooldown which will activate after her skill ends. So, is NTR Knight good? Considering NTR Knight is a limited operator, pulling for her might be a priority for some of you, she is definitely powerful with the attack and defense boost her skills provide. Alongside the NTR Knight, we are receiving Flametail, a pioneer vanguard. She can block up to two enemies and recovers DP through using her skills. 
Her kid is very interesting as she focuses more on dodging to keep herself alive. Her third skill allows her to gain 80% arts and physical dodge while gaining an average attack buff, increased block count and shortened attack interval. This makes Flame Tail's DPS shoot up while the skill is active. However, her third skill's duration is very short at a measly 8 seconds. The DP cost is 16 at Mastery 3, but with such a short skill duration, Flametail will definitely not be able to take on high defense enemies or enemies with high HP. When compared to Bagpipe, Flametail's DPS is weak, however, this comparison is unfair as they are from totally different archetypes. Flametail's talent allows her to attack enemies twice and attack all blocked enemies every time she dodges an attack, this works extremely well with her third skill. Her second talent gives all Casimir's operators a small dodge chance, not a game-changing talent. So, is Flametail any good? Well, considering her third skill's duration, which is her signature skill, she is not a must-pull, but she is on the same banner with NTR Knight so you might get her anyways, while she can deal huge amounts of damage to enemies with low to average defense, high defense or HP enemies with high attack will wrecked Flametail immediately after her skill duration ends, making her a situational operator to play with. And that is all. Hope this video was helpful in briefly introducing the future operators coming soon. I will be making similar videos in the future so please consider subscribing to my channel. I am aiming for 100 subs by end of June so please help me make it a reality. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.